Welcome. I want to show you one great test that's very consistent that someone can do on you or you can do on someone else to determine if you have a torn or injured medial meniscus. A medial meniscus is that cartilage between the thigh bone and the bone below, the tibial bone. So the femur and the tibia, where they meet, as you can see right here, that medial meniscus is that cartilage. And that's the place where most stress occurs predominantly if we come on the foot and we turn it or twist it or degeneration. Degeneration commonly if you're an athlete, you're heavy, you spent a lot of time on your feet, a lot of jumping, a lot of running. This can cause wear and tear in that inside of that knee joint called the medial meniscus. Now you have a lateral meniscus on the other side, but that is not as affected nearly as a medial meniscus. Medial meniscus, I would say about 85 to 90 percent of the time, that is the area that causes lots of problems. She's having pain along the inside medial aspect of the knee. And generally what you have there, the collateral ligament, the medial collateral ligament, and the medial meniscus. Medial meniscus is most commonly affected in the knee joint when it comes down to wearing down cartilage or particular meniscus problems. We're going to show you the Apley's uh, compression test. Apley's compression, you can do this, someone can do this on you. Uh, the best way to know if you have knee problems in that meniscus, if it's torn, if there's an issue, there's a problem, if it's inflamed, if it's the inside of the meniscus, the trick here is to point the heel towards the side of the meniscus, which is the medial side. So the medial side is here and the inside, we're going to take the heel and bring it this way. Okay, so we're taking the whole uh, foot and we're turning the heel inwards. As we turn the heel inwards, we're going to push straight down pressure. Not your whole body, but just firm pressure down. And as we push down, that hurts right there? Okay. That means her meniscus is doing fine. So I'm pushing straight down on the meniscus and that's where we're stressing the joint. So when someone does this to you, remember 90 degrees at the knee, turn the, the ankle where the heel is facing inwards towards the meniscal side, toward the medial side. And you're going to push straight down athlete's compression. If it's positive and we push down, you will know it. They will jump off the table. They will say, ow, that hurts. So that Apley's compression test is a great test for you to know. Either you do it on someone, they can do it on yourself. In a matter of seconds, you most likely will have some kind of diagnosis that if this thing is hot and it's positive, then something's going on. Now, what do you do for it? Well, physical therapy, ice, ultrasound. There are exercises. Most people with these conditions don't even know they have a torn meniscus. So depending upon your condition, there are many different kinds of symptoms. If the leg or the knee is actually sticking or it's clicking or it's kind of giving out on you, then at that point you need to follow up with a physician. But in most of these cases, the body can resolve a lot of these conditions. Uh, most important is you have the proper diagnosis. Hopefully this information is helpful for you. Leave your comments below, share this video with others, subscribe if you haven't, so you can continue to receive the best of the self-help videos here on the internet. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.